Hi guys, Alex here, and today I thought we would go ahead and look at Life by Jen's video. This one is called Obese People and Scooter Riding, the Amberlynn Reed Controversy. And if you guys didn't know, this video was actually posted in November of 2018, so it makes it about two years old. Around that time, Amberlynn was in a little bit of a controversy because she was starting to use the scooters at Walmart, and she was treating it a lot like it was just a joke. Also, Foodie Beauty had come out with a video around that time talking about the scooter controversy, and basically she was not on Amberlynn's side, but we know how the tables have turned. It seems that Amber is in hiding because of the voicemails that have come out. She hasn't posted her Jenny Craig day seven, and it's been quite a while. We know that she supposedly had some videos backlogged when it came to her Jenny Craig situation, so I'm not sure why she's in hiding again, but I can pretty much figure out why because the backlash is strong. You guys go ahead and look at her comments or don't. Um, they're not so good. Anyway, for today, we're going to be taking a look at another video that uh, skyrocketed Jen into the Amber universe, extended universe, because I know that she did a couple of videos talking about Amberlynn, and those are the ones that caught attention of a lot of people. So let's take a look at this one. Let's just get right into it. I mean, shall we? So I know that the recent controversy on Jen's channel is that she is selling an MLM, which is Sensi. Um, I think that they have like decent products. I'm not sure I've never used them before. So I don't know. But I know that like anti MLM is such a big thing on YouTube right now. Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm Jen and this Hi is Hi Jen, what's that? This is before Jean was in the picture, so <laughs> channel. So today I want to talk about something that is kind of controversial and that it has caused a lot of controversy when it was brought up and there have been people that have made a lot of video responses to it and I have been kind of hesitant to make a video about right. it. Right, Foodie Beauty at the time made that video, that infamous video that has since been deleted off of her channel because we know that her and Amber are, you know, a team now behind the scenes. I'd like to know what they talk about behind the scenes, or if they even do. And to put my thoughts out there, but that's part of the good thing about having a YouTube channel and making videos is you get to have a platform to put your thoughts, ideas, and opinions out there and have them known. Exactly. I know, like I said, I know that not everyone is going to agree with me, and I completely understand that. I can see things from both sides of the spectrum of the issue, and I welcome negative feedback as well. Like I said, I will never delete negative comments. If they're rude, yes, I will delete them because I just don't stand for rude people. Um, as far as people that don't agree with me, I will not delete comments because... Okay, so she did say that she would delete rude people, but I'm not going to delete any comments, but I'm going to delete any rude comments. It's a little bit contradictory. We know that recently, um, over the summer, I believe, she did strike a channel to the point where their channel got deleted. Um, and I know that Jen likes to come on and she does like to pretend like she's this beacon of free speech, like anything goes, it's okay, but the contrary often comes out. Nobody is going to agree with everyone. And as long as you can be respectful and disagree, disagree respectfully, that's fine. So the topic is, is the use of electric scooters for obese people. And the kind of outrage and this kind of started when Amberlynn Reed posted a video of her using an electric wheel or electric scooter at Walmart. There have been several people that have made video responses to that and this is not in response to anyone's response video. She has been known to use it all the time. <laughs> like I said, I've seen several. This is just my opinions and my thoughts on the use of scooters for fat people, obese people, whatever you want to call them. Call me, call us. Um, so I'm going to be honest with you guys. And as you probably guessed, I... When it comes to the point where you're so far gone, um, you almost need one. I know that I don't think that Amber could walk through the store and be perfectly fine. I mean, she has shown that she could go to TJ Maxx and be fine because it's not offered there. So I guess that's up for debate. I use those. Um, and I also, if I don't... It's not something that I am proud of and not something that I put out there very often. It's not something that I hide because obviously anybody who knows me or sees me on a daily basis knows I use an electric wheelchair, which is what I'm sitting in right now, 
to when I go out of my apartment, when I go out to go across the street to get groceries, if I have to pick up something, or if I um, take out the trash or something like that. I wouldn't be proud of it either. Uh, one thing that stuck out to me as alarming about this video is that, you know, this is two years ago. There's really no progress, is there? where it's, it's a long distance that I'm not able to walk. That's why I work, was working with a physical therapist so I can get to the point where I don't need this whatsoever. I have improved in the past two and a half, almost three months now that I don't need it for walking around my apartment. I'm completely mobile within my apartment, which I am so happy about. So I've been using this- I do wonder if that is the case now or if she has backslid to the point where she needs to use it in the apartment now at all times wheelchair for about four years now and like I have said in my past videos eight years ago I was practically bed bound I was probably over 600 pounds at that time um, I don't know what my highest was because I was not in a position where I was able to weigh myself I was completely Im immobile except for to get up to go to the bathroom and I spent all my time in bed and then I lost two okay so that's not practically bed bound that is bed bound right but at least she could go to the restroom we know that her recent um her old channel she had like a bed bound channel small girl big girl small town i think was the name of the channel right pounds over the course of about two years and then i became completely mobile and i was not able to walk extremely long distances but i could walk long distances i was still at that time using a scooter at walmart because walking is difficult for me or it was difficult for me i have neuropathy in my feet and i get extremely short of breath very easily because of my weight so it was something that I found helpful for me. And then as I gained the weight back, when I stupidly, I, that's something that I regret. One of the biggest things I regret in my life is regaining the weight I lost. It was stupid. It was senseless. It was whatever word you want to call it. It was just, it was unfortunate that I did it. And I take full responsibility. That was, of course it was my fault. Um, anyhow, I do regret getting this electric wheelchair because in all honesty, it makes you lazy. And because I got to the point where I stopped walking at all because it was just so easy to just use it that I just did. And right, that does make a lot of sense. It becomes like a, a crutch. Uh, we have seen her still using it, going down the hallway with Jean to this day. Um, I wonder if Jean is also some sort of new crutch for her where she doesn't even have to really get up and get anything. So that's why this last time that I was in the hospital, I made the decision that I had already started trying to lose weight and I made the choice that I did not want to stay in this wheelchair forever. I wanted to be active and I want, as I lose more weight, I want to become completely mobile and not have to worry about any kind of electronic devices at all. So that's when I started physical therapy is at the end of August. So like I said, I've made a lot of progress since then, but like I said, I still use the ones at Walmart and it's something or Target wherever it is that you go. I haven't been there recently but because of my anxiety and that's a completely different subject and a completely different obstacle that I'm facing besides the my obesity. But I, can I do think that um, her being with Jean can help with her anxiety, right? I mean, having anyone to go to the store with is going to help you just to have them by your side, right? But I also worry that they're not good for each other because, you know, we've seen Jen backslide. We've seen Gene backslide as well. Not really on camera because he's just not, but they have talked about that. See things on both sides of the spectrum of using motorized scooters. In one respect, no, you should not do it because I have done this to myself and it is my own fault that I am in the condition that I am. I mean, I but don't think that you should be ostracized from society if you need a scooter you do need a scooter, but you know, I think that Amberlynn did get a lot of backlash back in the day because she was just so nonchalant about it and she was making it into a joke. You know, if you make yourself to that point where you need a scooter and you know, your only health problem is obesity, that's pretty serious and it's not a joke. But on the other side of the spectrum, I could either choose to work on my obesity and work to become mobile and use the what is offered to me the electric scooters until then right and still have an active life or i could right. work on my mobility and be shut in my apartment 
And then I would have to have somebody take care of me. I'd have to have somebody do my shopping, somebody. I don't think that that's good for anyone to be shut in their apartment. Do my cleaning, somebody do my laundry, somebody take out my trash. And I would get criticized for that as well. So having this and having those keeps me independent and I am able to. But who would criticize you really? Unless you were on YouTube (laughs) through your own volition. Let's be real about that. Don't do anything anybody else is, even at a bigger size weight. And I have had people ask me, oh, do you have a worker? Like, they, cause, because there are some people that I have known that when they get to a certain size, they have home health workers that come in and help them bathe and help them clean and do yeah, their laundry and common. stuff. And for me, that is not necessary. I don't, I don't want anyone taking care of me if I can, unless I am extremely to that point where there is something else wrong that I am not able to, but just being right. obese, for me just me for me okay (laughs) now she has gene to do everything it's not necessary for me to have someone take care of me when i could do it myself i hope that doesn't become a problem so i could choose to use the use this chair use the scooters to be able to have a social life to go to walmart with my friends to be independent to enjoy life or i could be shut in and be miserable do you go to walmart with friends though i guess not now Because of everything going on in the world, but um, ooh. remember those days going to Walmart with your friends to hang out? And I think anybody who is in that situation, given the opportunity to either stay in your apartment and be cut off from the rest of the world and not able to do the smallest things like Christmas shop, like there is no way I'd be able to go to Walmart and walk around in Christmas shop for en- at any length because I'm not able to walk around. So I would miss out on so many things. Now, I do realize that if I wasn't at this weight, I could be doing that without the use of that. But until I get to that point, right. I do need a scooter. But what are you doing and what did you do for the past two years? I don't know. Keto, right? I believe someone said that she's back on keto. I mean, it's really hard to keep track. It's like every other video. She's on keto or not. So I can see both sides of the spectrum. And I wish pe- that she would just do something else because it's obviously not working. People that... There are people out there that won't use an electric scooter or wheelchair because it makes them feel self-conscious. They don't want or they're just to be pitied. They don't want people to yeah. talk about them. But I'm living the best life I can at the weight that I am now. I don't plan on being this weight forever. I am not going to be this weight forever. I think that's important. And when it comes to body positivity, I think that, yeah, you should be okay to do what you want to do, you know, no matter what weight you are, right? But when it comes to the point where it's impacting your life and you have to use a scooter, I would think very seriously about that and try to do something. Try my hardest to do something to fix that problem, right? But while I am at this weight, I will do what I need to do to make my life easier and to make my life happier. Um, if I, Like I said, if I were to be shut in, if I didn't have the use of these and I wasn't able to go out with friends or go out and do anything, I would be more depressed than I am now. I have suffered from depression for many years. I was a shut in for many, many years. And being shut in and being isolated from just society makes you feel like you are a freak. Um, right, I was just gonna say that. Um, nobody wants to feel like that, right? Where they're shut in, like wherever they go, anxiety is really high. You know, the longer you stay shut in like that, the harder it's going to be to get out of it. And it makes you feel so different and it makes you more depressed. And when I am, de- when I'm feeling more depressed, it makes me want to eat more. So but it's not true. I mean, the majority of the people out there at a store, even if you're obese in a scooter, they're not really looking at you. They're not really paying attention to you. Um, they don't really care as like harsh as that sounds. They don't really care about you and what you're doing. Um, but maybe that can bring you like a little bit of solace where like, yeah, I'm good. Oh, I can choose to be happy and use the chair, or I can choose to be sad and stay in my bed all day. Did she just and, burp? <laughs> and I think most of us would make the same decision I've made. Um, I do see other people's points of view, how being obese is not a disability and not something that you should be using the scooters for. It should be for people who are paralyzed or have- I mean, it is disabling. There's no um, no way around that. And there's usually like enough scooters at Walmart for everyone that needs them. Some other kind of a disease, but 
my I consider addiction a disease and you don't get to be my size by just liking too much pizza or liking too much cupcakes or eating a little bit too much food. It's my addiction that made me the way I am. And while that is not an excuse, it's a reason. And to let it become an excuse is to not to work on it and not to fix the problem. And I am working on fixing the problem. So addiction is a disease. And because it is a disease, it requires a lot of treatment something that I don't think that Jen, Amberlynn, or Foodie have really even given a chance. I know that Foodie, to give Foodie some credit, <laughs> I keep calling her Foodie, to give Foodie some credit, I believe she has gone to a lot of therapy, um, things like that, right? But we see her backsliding, especially right now. She does seem happy, but who knows when she turns that camera off. Um, seemed like during her mukbangs, she was not the happiest right now. Amber... I don't know. The last we saw of her, she was binging um, and stopping her Jenny Craig. She had said that she was going to be going to therapy, right? Um, so I do believe that addiction, or I do believe that food addiction is a disease and it's real. It's very real. And because of that, it's going to require a lot of treatment. I do think that, you know, a flaw of the medical system here in America is we don't really spend too much um, time on ED, especially when it comes to food addiction. I mean, America has such a bad obesity problem, but that's not something that is really focused on um, when it comes to, you know, health, you know, drug addiction. There's a lot of treatment out there for people. There is. But for food addiction, there there isn't really. No, there's not. It's not as accessible. I know it exists, but it's not as, as accessible. A lot of the time, it's just like diet programs, weight loss centers, things like that. But those don't really address like this deep down in your head. You know what I mean? That is how I feel. That's my opinions on the use of That's people using opinion. scooters who are obese. I don't, I don't see a problem with it, probably because I am one of those people. But I would much rather see somebody out enjoying their life and living their life using a scooter than seeing someone shut in, laying in their bed day after day and being miserable. So that's my view. Yeah. Right. I mean, when it becomes so severe, like even walking from the car to the uh, scooter is exercise in and of itself. You know, hopefully you don't leave the scooter in the parking lot. <laughs> I'm sure that you guys probably will have different views than mine. And that's okay too. And I encourage anyone to leave. If you have a different view than mine, you're more than welcome to leave that comment and we can talk about it. Just please be respectful. That's all I ask. Because if you're not respectful, I will delete your comment. I'm not going to, to deal with hate or I'm not even going to engage in it because I don't have time for that. I'm an adult and I have a life to live. So okay. that's my views. And thank you for listening. Be well, everyone. All right. So I definitely do agree with Jen for the most part. I don't think that people should be shut-ins just because they can't walk around because they're morbidly obese, right? I think at the time people were upset, like I said, with Amber because she just thought it was a joke. And it's really not a joke. I think that there should be more treatment options for people in the United States and Canada. There can always be more treatment op options for those that suffer from food addiction because it is real. I think that it's different than drug addiction in its way, but it has a lot of similarities for sure. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below, and I will, of course, catch you guys in the, the next one. Bye, guys.